Susie Milano down here with manager Kelly Nicholson. So you have back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games here. How's it feel to be on your home turf? It's always good to be home, Susie. It's, uh, you know, nice not to have to hop on a bus, and it's nice to know that we're going to be here for three nights in a row. Hopefully, if we get this win in tonight, the, I think the weather's coming, but we thought the weather was coming last night, and it kind of missed us, so uh, hopefully we're going to get this one in tonight. All right, you had a tough loss yesterday. What do you kind of say to the boys after a game like that, trying to get them back on track? To be real honest with you, I never we never talk about the game afterwards. About the only thing I say to them is what time we're going to be on the field the next day. I'm not that. I've told them I'm I'm not mad. I'm uh, whether we win or whether we lose, I'm not that smart to break a game down by the time the last out's made, and I have to address the team. I, it always takes me time to come back to the clubhouse and talk with Brownie and talk with Benny and we go over what what went well during the ball game and what could we have done differently and then it's usually individually I'll go around and talk to guys I talked to Mark and Sini a little bit today and I'll talk to the starting pitcher and um, that's normally the the way that we handle things the last thing they want to do after a after a lightning delay in a two-hour game is listen to a 30-minute conversation uh, or lecture from me so we're really brief brief and bold about that and it's like, hey, we, you know, we're going to stretch at 4.30 and pitchers out at 4 and for a little early work, and that's pretty much it. Although you guys didn't really come out on top yesterday, were there any standout performances to you? There was still some great baseball being played. You know, I, I talked to Corey Miller. I thought Corey Miller threw the ball really well. Uh, he threw 41 strikes out of 59 pitches, so he was about 68, 69% strikes. He got a lot of ground balls. He didn't walk anybody, and I told him, I said, hey, I, I think you'd take that outing every time. You know, just about 70% strikes, lots of ground balls and no walks. They got a little lucky last night. They hit some balls where we weren't, and that's baseball. That happens. Luck figures into it. Um, I thought Clark threw the ball well. I thought Scuddy threw the ball well. I thought O'Neill threw the ball well. We went nine and two-thirds innings and we didn't walk a guy and we'll take that every time uh they just had that that one big inning and it all started with two outs and you got to tip your cap to those guys born did a nice job if that would have been like i said i was telling matt yesterday after the game it had that had been us that would have been a great job on our side so we just tip the cap and uh move on to today all right like i said moving on today we saw that Moore is back in the lineup how's he feeling he's feeling better yeah he feels good he could have played yesterday but we wanted to err on the side of caution and give him another day. His back has bothered him a little bit uh, at Arizona. And like I said, he, he could have played yesterday, but we just wanted to be uh, err on the side of caution. So he's back in there today. We're, we're not going to catch him. thought we'd kind of relieve him of that. Uh, but he will be in there to swing the bat today. Can we get a health update on Allen Davidson as well? I think Greg could have played today. Uh, if it would have been game three against whomever in the championship, he would he would have been in there. Again, we're going to err on the side of caution. He said he was a little gimpy, didn't feel quite 100%. He said he should be back in there tomorrow. Austin Davidson might be a little while longer. He rolled that thing pretty good yesterday. So three to five days, I don't know how long it's going to be for Austin. Okay, you're starting Colin Wellman on the, on the mound tonight. He's going to be leaving us in a couple of days. Go to Team USA. What's the team kind of going to lose when he takes off? Well, we're going to lose a, a potential Team USA guy. You know, Colin's really, really good. I saw Colin pitch quite a bit at Loyola Marymount this year and early in the year boy his numbers were unbelievable he had an outstanding season obviously and he's going to the SA team we're gonna lose a starter uh, we want to wish him the best of luck we really hope that he not that we don't want him but we really hope that he makes the USA team we I'm a big believer in our country deserves the best guys to to wear that USA uniform so I I hope he goes in there and pitches like he can and and uh, makes that team this summer all right, and finally, what are the boys going to have to do tonight to kind of come out on top? What are they going to have to do differently compared to last night? Well, we're going to have to score one, at least one more run than that Brewster. Uh, it's starting to rain pretty good, but, uh, you know, again, we just want to stay with a good process, pitch by pitch, inning by inning, not get too up, not get too down, have good at bats, throw strikes, play catch, keep it simple. And uh, like, I, like I've said and like I'll say all season, the wins and losses will take care of themselves. Great. Thank you so much, Coach. All right. Thank you, Susie. Susie Milano, that was manager Kelly Nicholson. I'm going to send it back to you for more Firebird pregame.